So now this is a basic P2P cycle. Why we are calling it as a cycle? Because it runs in a cycle. Okay. Because every time you will need to, you need to have a product, you will go through this process. Okay. Where the process will start? The process will start from the, I, uh, sorry, the process will start from the PR. Okay. What is a PR? PR is a purchase requisition. So what is a purchase requisition? It is basically a demand. So let's take an example and understand this process. So let's say that you have a requirement that you need to buy a um, let's take an example of mobile okay you need a mobile so now there is a demand for mobile for you okay now you have find out what kind of mobile you need so mobile mobile model mobile version how many how much capacity should be there so you have identified all of these things and you have a demand right now okay let's say you need a phone under 15000 which will be having 128 gb of ram and 6 gb of uh, sorry 128 gb of storage and a, let's say 6 to 8 gb of ram okay now you have identified this thing you have a demand for mobile what should be the capacity or what should be the the uh, let's say what should be the configuration so you find out this one so now you have a demand so that demand you have to write it down somewhere that demand is called in sap as a purchase requisition whenever there is a demand or requirement for a product will be there there will be one purchase requisition will be created okay so purchase requisition is an internal document of sap which we don't send anywhere it is just for our reference purpose we create a purchase requisition because this purchase this demand can come from any of the department okay let's say you are in uh, you are working in uh, let's say admin department okay in the admin department let's say you need some office stationery so directly you cannot buy this product rather you will be asking the purchasing department to buy this product now you identified one demand you have to share it with the purchasing team now the purchasing team will take care of the procurement process okay now whenever we have some demand we will be creating one purchase requisition this is the sap terminology purchase requisition okay or if you have worked in any of the let's say companies manufacturing companies or any companies there you might have come to um, come to know about the indent process right there will be a indent will be there when you require something you have to offline means in a there will be a slip will be there in that slip you will be writing that i need this product and you will be giving to the purchasing department right so this is the purchase requisition now after the purchase requisition is there you have a demand you um, you already know that which kind of product you need what configuration product you need now what will you do now you will send that to the purchasing department or rather the purchasing department will create a purchase requisition okay then this purchasing department what will they do now you have a okay now let's go into that same example now you have you know that you need a mobile you know the configuration now what will you do you try to find out the seller right now you will go and find one seller which is selling these kind of product okay now that process is called request for quotation okay let's say punam you want to say something oh yes sir uh, what is the meaning of rfq wait Full just form? wait 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 for thing okay so next process is rfq what is rfq rfq is a request for quotation okay now whenever you identified there are five supplier or five vendors are there in the, in the market there are five supplier or five vendors are there what will you need from them you will need a quotation from them right so that process is called request for quotation 
So you will be asking the quotation price from the vendor or suppliers, right? So you will be asking a quotation price. So that is called request for quotation. Now you need to ask for them. Like I need this mobile for this configuration, this storage, this much of storage facility, this much of, uh, let's say RAM capacity. So what will be the price for these kind of mobile? So they will be sending so after you have you are asking for the quotation they will be sending you an quotation okay so they are saying like i have this mobile this will be you can get it under fifteen thousand. okay the price will be fourteen thousand five hundred. let's say you are having five vendors or five suppliers or let's say three suppliers so one supplier is saying that he will be providing you the material uh, that phone in 14,500. Someone is saying that he will be providing you under 13,500. And another one is saying they will be providing that mobile under, let's say, 14,000. So, what should you do now? You will compare these three prices, right? Where you will buy? You will buy where you are getting it on a cheaper price, right? In SAP also, the comparison, like once you are getting the quotation, then you will be comparing this. In the comparison, SAP has a standard way of comparing only the price. There will be no other factors will be there which can be taken into the comparison. But there is a process, let's say, whenever there is a bulk process is there, so there will be selection process will be there. You will be having two, three vendors will be there. Let's say every time you will not go to the cheap uh, vendor, okay? So rather going to that one, there will be multiple factors will be there. We will be looking into it in RFQ process. When we go to the RFQ process, we will be discussing about that. What are the other factors? But for right now, SAP has a default comparison of the prices only. So you will be selecting the supplier which will give you the minimum price. Okay. So once you are getting the price uh, like your price comparison and is done you finalize that i am going to buy the mobile from this vendor or from this supplier i'm going to purchase this mobile now what will you need to do you have to send a purchase order to that vendor okay now you have finalized that vendor then you have to send a purchase order that i need this mobile Okay, as per your quotation or as per my purchase requisition, you can create a purchase order. There is no issue. You can create a purchase order with respect to quotation also. You can create a purchase, purchase order with respect to purchase requisition also. So you have to create a purchase order and you have to send that to your supplier. So supplier will send you the material. This is called purchase order. PO means purchase order. Next, when your supplier receives that purchase order they will send that product now you will receive that product that is called goods received okay once you are receiving the goods in your warehouse or at your place that is called goods received so you have received the product now what you need to do you have to pay for that product now that is called invoice receipt okay so after the goods received you have to create an invoice receipt and you have to pay to the vendor so this cycle will end here okay and again whenever you are having the same process like for any other product you are having a demand it will again start from this pr then it will go through this cycle till ir process okay so this is the p2p cycle understood this process able to understand yes, sir. okay or any doubt anyone having any doubt no sir Okay. No. Okay, fine, fine. So this is a simple concept and this is a very, uh, let's say, uh, important concept of P2P cycle because in SAP MM, normally we will be dealing with these processes, okay? From PR, RFQ, purchase order, goods receipt, invoice receipt may be in your... Um, bucket or not that will be decided by your company because of invoice is consisting of the financing items let's say finance will be involved some price will be involved some payments will be involved that's why some of the companies 
they will take this IR concept to the financing side or the FICO people. They will be handling this invoice process. Okay. But other than that, this PR2 GR process will be there in the for the MM consultant. Okay, MM consultant will be dealing with the PR, RFQ, quotation, quotation comparison, purchase order, GR, this will be under your bucket. So normally smaller companies, they will put the IR also in P2P cycle or in the, uh, let's say MM consultant for the MM consultant, but for uh, bigger companies due to the price involvement, they will be taking this to the FICO consultant means FICO team will be handling the IR process, okay? So this is basically the P2P process. So you need to understand it. You need to understand it by your heart. You need to um, remember by uh, remember this, okay? I mean, it should be in your, stored in your mind and so that you can explain it in a simple way likewise why how we are explaining similarly you can explain this p2p cycle okay so this is p2p cycle for let's say this is a simple business process okay p2p cycle process now after that what are the configuration steps are there what are the different things are there we will be gradually we will be looking into those kind of things okay Understood? Yes. Okay. So these are very good concept. You need to know, you need to understand, try to practice after the classes, try to at least for 30 minutes to one hour, try to see these things, try to listen to the recording, try to understand it, try to take your notes, try to take a note and try to write it down. Okay. And practice on that so that whenever we go to the topics when we start the uh, let's say journey on the SAP screens then it will be not like that whenever we are moving forward you are forgetting the previous concept so these concepts should be um, should be uh, like it should be in your mind every time it should be there in your mind you should be able to explain it properly okay 